Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And there seems to be rather a bit of confusion going on around Murdo Fraser and his non-crime hate incident. And I think possibly some shadiness. Uh, Police Scotland is saying that, yes, it was recorded as a non-crime hate incident, but that his details weren't assigned to it. It was recorded only for recording purposes. Why would you record it without putting his name next to it, without that that detail? Other people have their names attached to it. It seems very weird, very shady, and almost as though they're making it up as they go along, or something else is happening. But either way, it still seems to be politically motivated. Funny how Hamza doesn't get anything despite being clearly racist. Whereas Murdo Fraser simply has an attack on the SNP and does get this thing recorded. Weird? Targeted? Maybe it's a form of hate in itself. Who knows? Let's take a look to see why there is some shadiness and what it may be. And I have a theory, but we'll come to it within the piece. Here goes. So Police Scotland hate crime shambles as the force now says that Murdo Fraser's details are not recorded. Well, it is a shambles because he's been told by someone who would know that it has. And so it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Just puts that little bit of doubt in your head. Uh, The introduction of uh, non-crime hate incidents, as well as the hate crime bill, has caused chaos among the police service in Scotland with the Scottish Tory MSP calling out alleged political bias after Hamza Youssef dodged being involved in an NCHI. Um, And yet he did far worse than Murdo Fraser. Murdo Fraser just sort of liked something that was critical of the uh, Scottish government. He gets this. Now, why would they record it and not put his details there? Now, I'm going to suggest that what we're going to see here will amount to lies from the police. Police Scotland has said that the personal details of Murdo Fraser were not recorded after he discovered that a non-crime hate incident had been uh, uh, logged against him. This came after both Hamza Youssef and JK Rowling both dodged HCNIs, or sorry, NCHIs, reading is hard, uh, despite being the subject of dozens of complaints, leading to accusations of political bias. The Harry Potter author goaded the police to arrest her on Easter Monday after she listed a number of prominent transgender figures, including Scottish criminals Isla Bryson, Katie Dolotovsky, and called them all men. And she called them all men, of course, because that's what they are. Meanwhile, the First Minister was reported for a Hollywood speech from 2020 where he spoke angrily about most of the major public sector jobs being filled by white people. Police said both incidents did not cross the criminal threshold, but that they were also not recorded as NCHIs in an apparent contradiction of the approach taken with Mr Fraser. He has threatened legal action against the police after he found out a social media post had been logged despite not meeting the criminal standard. He had compared cats to non-binary people and he criticised the Scottish government's spend on a guidebook for them. Now, I have a feeling that he actually did have his details logged against this. But in order to make a problem go away, I suspect that within the last, let's say, 72 hours, Police Scotland have quietly and silently and secretively slid the name away out of the record, taken it away, said, oh, no, we just logged the incident. We didn't put your name on it. So that if anyone looks, there'll be no name attached because they didn't want to be seen as being political. But I bet that name was there. I suspect the name was there, and I think they've become very shady over this because they don't want to be caught out on it. But how else would anyone have known that he had got uh, reported unless his name was logged? See, you don't have to be a genius. You just have to think about what you're being told. Uh, Anyway, Police said both incidents did not cross... Oh, sorry. 
we've just done that bit. I will move on. Uh, he has now been told that his personal details have not been recorded after all. A chief inspector in Police Scotland's professional standards department responded to his letter of complaint saying, I'm aware an Office of Man National Complaint Assessment and Resolution Unit contacted you directly to discuss this matter on the 26th of March 2024. During the conversation regarding allegation one, that guidance on non-crime hate incidents breaches data protection law, it was confirmed to you your personal details were not recorded on Police Scotland's interim vulnerable person database. So how did he know? How did his name come up if his name wasn't recorded? That is an important thing. If they're saying it's not there now, then we need to look back at the records to see if it was put there, when it was edited, what time, they, who did the edit, and what time they did the edit. All that's trackable, right? And so we need to see who did it, who deleted it and when. Find out the officer's name and then fire them. Uh, the force said that an officer had been allocated to investigate Mr Fraser's allegation that there had been a breach of the Human Rights Act and Equality Act. The, human, uh, the Scottish Tory uh, MSP is still waiting response to another urgent letter he sent on Thursday after Mr Yousaf and Ms Rowling dodged NCHIs, going against police guidance, which claims that when an incident does not meet the threshold for a crime, but is perceived to be motion, motivated wholly or partially by malice and ill will towards a social group, it should be noted. Now, this is definitely the case, and they should have been noted, and they haven't. Therefore, politics. Murdo Fraser is 100% right. It is biased. But then the police are biased because the police are owned by the SNP. So they're not going to do anything against Hamza. And they're too craven to do anything against J.K. Rowling because, of course, she's got better lawyers. Uh, he asked if there was a political bias involved after he got an NCHI, but the SNP leader did not and whether different standards are applied for such incidents if the accused are high-profile and powerful figures. Approach for comment, Mr Fraser told the PA news agency, I am grateful to finally get a response from Police Scotland, and I await more detailed explanations as to why they believe, unlike the police in England, why their policy in recording hate incidents is lawful. Now, as a little aside tangent on that one, just to make it new, they did have NCHIs in England and Wales. However on reflection and the courts decided that actually it did breach um, Human Rights Act, HRA, uh, the British one, and the ECHR. Both were um, cited in the case and they are in breach of both. Now that means that Scotland's recording of these things is also in breach of the European Convention on Human Rights. So Scotland is itself now breaking international law even by having this law on the books. So, yeah, it's a very weird situation. They don't mind breaking the law when it suits them, but not when it doesn't. Funny, isn't it? Uh, anyway, he continued, I would, whoever contest that their claim that I accept that there had been no breach of the Data Protection Act, and I still await a response to my equally serious letter today on why I have been targeted by police while the SNP First Minister has escaped any action. Answer came there none, and they want this whole problem to go away. I'm coming up. Now this isn't an issue for Scottish law. Human Rights Act and the European Convention of Human Rights are superior laws to Scottish law. Uh, Human Rights Act is British law that goes across the whole of the United Kingdom and Human Rights Act obviously we're still signatories to it and it's the whole of Europe. Not just the EU either. This is um, European court. This is countries that are not in EU but are still European. We're still bound by it. Anyway, he won't like that, will he? I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.